Lion vs. Gorilla. Who would win this fight in the wilds of Africa? The king of the jungle or the dangerous gorilla? An African lion and a gorilla have approximately the same weight at their adult age, but their ways of living and their behavior is very different from each other. Unlike some animal rivals, this tough pairing doesn't have an obvious outcome. Both the lion and the gorilla have their share of strengths, each of which is unique. Lions are commonly known as the kings of the jungle. People around the world consider the symbol of lions as the sign of strength and power. They are the world's second largest cat after the tiger. They are the social cats and live together in groups called prides. The characteristic silver hairs on the backs of some mountain gorillas indicate they are adult males. As extremely powerful, silverback gorillas live mostly in the jungles that surround African mountain ranges. To sustain a body that size, silverback gorillas need to eat a lot of food every day and make sure they get all the right nutrients into their systems. Size and Description The lion is the only cat exhibiting sexual dimorphism, which means that male and female lions look different from each other. Males are larger than females. A lion's body ranges in length from 4.5 to 6.5 feet, 1.7 to 2 meters, with a 26 to 40 inch tail, 0.6 to 1 meter. Weight runs between 265 to 420 pounds, 120 to 190 kilograms. Lion cubs have dark spots on their coat when they are born, which fade until only faint belly spots remain in adulthood. Adult lions range in color from buff to gray to various shades of brown. Both males and females are powerful, muscular cats with rounded heads and ears. Only adult male lions display a brown, rust or black mane, which extends down the neck and chest. Only males have dark tail tufts, which conceal tailbone spurs in some specimens. Silverbacks are very large. When they stand upright, they are from 5.5 to 6 feet tall, 1.7 to 1.9 meters, and weigh as much as 350 pounds, 160 kilograms. The silverback's ears look small for its head. Males have a large bony crest on the tops of their skulls and back, which helps support their jaw muscles and teeth. The bony crest gives their heads a conical shape. Females have the same crest as well, but it is not as pronounced as it is in males. Silverbacks are also very hairy. They are the hairiest of all gorilla species. Their hair is long and thick and helps to insulate them at high elevations. Silverbacks get their silver saddle at around 12 years old. Younger males who don't yet have the silver saddle are called blackbacks. Range and Habitat African lions have a number of subspecies separated by large lionless expanses. Historically, lions could be found across the vast majority of Africa, but their current range has been restricted to a smattering of locations in Central and Southern Africa. Outside of Africa, lions used to be found from Greece all the way to India. Humans slowly decimated these populations over the centuries. Currently, only a small population of the Asiatic lion subspecies can be found in the Gir Forest National Park in western India. Lions prefer grassland and savanna habitats in close proximity to water sources, such as rivers. They also prefer hunting in open areas rather than densely packed forest. Lions are absent from all rainforest habitats in their range. 
Western or lowland gorillas inhabit the forests of equatorial Africa, from the western lowlands near the Cameroon coast through the Central African Republic, Equatorial Guinea, Gabon, Nigeria, Republic of Congo, Angola, and possibly the Democratic Republic of Congo. Africa's tropical secondary forests, where the open canopy allows much light to reach the forest floor, provide the best habitat for western gorillas. Diet Lions are carnivores, which means they eat meat. In the wild, lion's prey usually consists of wildebeest, zebra, and various ungulates like giraffes, buffalo, and gazelles. Occasionally, lions will hunt young elephants, rhinoceros, or hippopotamus. Lions also scavenge food, chasing away hyenas and other carnivores from their kills. Lions are known to be opportunist feeders and will also eat rodents, small birds, hares, and reptiles. A lion chasing its prey can run the length of a football pitch in six seconds. Lions' eyes have a horizontal streak of nerve cells which watch their prey carefully across the plains. Gorillas are primarily vegetarians and feed along the edges of dense forests. However, they do eat whatever insects and small animals are on the leaves and stems they consume. Gorillas also will eat crops and rotting wood. Silverbacks consume 45 pounds of food every day. Behavior Lions are primarily nocturnal or crepuscular. Lions spend much of their time resting often up to 20 hours per day. During periods of rest, lions have many opportunities for social behavior. They gather and sleep in groups, rubbing their heads together and playing. Life in a group allows lions to hunt for food together. Female lions of a pride may spread out around potential prey to attack it from many directions. Despite their tremendous power and adaptive efficiency, Lions are more likely to fail than succeed in their attempts to kill. Mountain gorillas are highly social animals who live in family groups, referred to as troops, led and protected by a dominant silverback. Three to four sexually mature females, one or two younger male gorillas, and three to six juveniles and infants form this cohesive family. Subordinate silverbacks might also be part of a troop. They are most often the younger brothers or adult sons of the dominant silverback. A large mountain gorilla troop can exceed 20 individuals. Now let's see finally who would win a fight between a lion and a silverback gorilla. The gorilla's large canines are designed not for flesh, but for intimidation and they still pale in comparison to the predatory teeth of its opponent, the male lion. The silverback gorilla's arms are extremely strong, and even if it doesn't have lion-like claws, they have the ability to use makeshift weapons using the trees and rocks around them. Should a lion dare to attack a silverback head-on, he can use his powerful throwing force to land a serious and possibly fatal blow. Unlike the silverback gorilla, the lion is a predator by nature. While they may not share the same level of intelligence, the lion wields a body built for hunting. The lion's fearsome claws can also rake wounds into the gorilla, even as it struggles against the lion's jaws. The lion, despite its predatorial strengths, leans upon an assassin's technique. Due to his low stamina, he depends heavily upon a stealthy approach in order to take down his foe in a single strike. Finally, I believe the odds are in the gorilla's favor. If the lion can get in close enough and score an accurate bite, he could end the fight before it even begins. However, a gorilla is a mighty foe with more stamina and fearsome strength. Its will to fight will last much longer than a male lion's, 
and if it gets its hand upon a solid branch, it can put a beating on its feline combatant. So long as the silverback manages to evade a lion's bite and its scratches remain superficial, he can use his powerful punches and throws to score a hit that will lay the lion low. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button.